Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to COL's 2024 Market Outlook entitled, Could This Time Be Different? My name is Zurch Zandueta, and I'm the Portfolio Manager for COL Investment Management Inc., and I will be your host and moderator for this afternoon. Before we go through our formal proceedings, please take note of some very important information and disclaimers. All right. Okay. Could this time be different? A very appropriate market title, don't you think? Like 2023 before it, 2024 is actually uh, off to a very good start. But unlike 2023, could this January rally in 2024 last until the end of the year? For context, 2022 and 2021 before it also saw an up January only to give back gains and have the market decline in the succeeding months. And so that begs the question, could this time be different? Please stick around to find out. We will be going through um, our usual program flow. So we will begin with the introductions, which will be conducted by me before I hand it off to April for our market outlook. Thereafter, Juanis will speak about the market's technicals, and then we will proceed uh, with the most requested socks section and our Q&A session. Speaking of Q&A, um, if you have any questions, please go through the chat button on your Zoom on the Q&A tab and just type whatever inquiry you may have. We are very thankful and fortunate to have our uh, research team with us this afternoon who will do their best to answer any questions that you may have. All right. So um, for this uh, next uh, portion of our program, uh, we would once again discuss the results of our investor sentiment survey. So as a fund manager, this is something that me personally have found very helpful as it helps me get the pulse or a gauge of what you guys, our clients, are thinking. So for this round, um, we actually sent out five questions, um, which we will go be going through one by one to see how you have responded. And hopefully uh, the answers that you give will help uh, everyone here in this call get a better gauge of how investors are, are looking at markets at the moment. Uh, so could we go through with the first question? All right. So we asked you, uh, at what level do you think the PSEI will be in six months? And looking at the answers here, um, it looks like that our investors are growing in terms of optimism. Um, so about 60% of you uh, for this round believe that the market will be in a more bullish state six months from now. And if you break that down, 44% uh, are saying that it's going to be a weak bull type of environment. By weak bull, I think that means maybe the PSEI up somewhere between 8 to 12% uh, for the next uh, six months. And at least if you look at the trend, the overall number, it looks like, has been increasing. Um, next. All right. Uh, what is the greatest risk in the market going into 2024? We asked this question and you answered that it's the escalation of geopolitical tensions right now that is foremost in your minds, 42%. Um, yeah, I think this is uh, I think this is to be expected, of course, given the rise of the unfortunate Israel and Hamas war in October. And I think just looking at the news flow, we see Houthi attacks on the Red Sea um, and all of these things going around. Um, yeah, so 42% um, on that end. Uh, what is the next question that we have? All right. So this is interesting. I think this is the one of the first few times wherein we ask uh, this question to you guys. Um, are you bullish or bearish on the following Philippine sectors? So we laid out the various sectors that there is um, that there are in the Philippine market, and we ask you to rank them whether you're bullish, neutral, or bearish on the particular sector. And the results of uh, of this particular question uh, is something that's very interesting to me. Uh, it looks like the most of you um, on a net basis are the most bullish on REITs and property stocks for 2024. So I think that tells me a lot in our audience is, are uh, probably expecting maybe a decline uh, in interest rates, a sustained decline in interest rates. Um, and that's why uh, the betting is that these are the types of uh, sectors that will, will do well. 
Um, in terms of where you are the most bearish or not the most positive, but it's on the Congos and the Telcos. So let's see what April will say about this later on. Uh, what is the fourth question that we had? Okay. Um, how do you feel about your Philippine stock market portfolio for the next three to six months? Majority of you answered this by saying that I think the market will perform well. So 31% of you said that. So I will increase my stock and equity holdings. The next largest cohort here, 28% of you said that I think the market may still correct. And I'm confident that my portfolio is pre prepared for that. This was a bit eye-opening to me too, um, in a sense that I, I think a lot of our investors this afternoon are um, leading more towards being more active, uh, taking a more proactive stance in terms of how they are managing um, their portfolios. So I think, I think, I think that's a good approach uh, definitely to have. Um, and then can we move on to our last question? All right. So in the next three to six months, do you plan to increase or decrease your exposure in these investment products? Um, again, the answers here are a bit very encouraging. Uh, so if we look at it, majority of you are planning to actually increase your exposure and risk assets. So for stocks in particular, almost 65% of you say that you will be increasing your exposure in stocks, uh, about 52% in income paying investments, 43% in local funds, and 31% in global funds. So I think for me as a fund manager, what this tells me, given the willingness of people to add money um, into their investments, I think there's still some cash probably that is sitting um, idly by and maybe looking and waiting and timing um, on when to deploy it. So that at least maybe for looking at things more long term, uh, there is something there that could help uh, sustain whatever rally we may see down the line. Um, and I hope the audience uh, will forgive me for, for this plug. Um, I just see here also that in terms of local funds and global funds, a portion of you guys are not yet uh, invested in these um, asset classes. I would just like to remind that in case it is something that would be of interest to you guys, uh, you could go to the mutual fund tab of your COL accounts. And there you will see that we have uh, various local and global fund offerings.